I bought this Wii Mini thing off from eBay. Now this thing said that the light comes on, the power light, but it doesn't switch on, which is weird. Let's plug the power lead in and let's see if that is true. Yes, we get a power light. Right. Is it supposed to turn blue or something? Or green? I can't remember. But yeah, it's not doing. How weird. The eject button works. I'm just going to plug it into the TV and just double check to see if we get anything on the TV. Well, I don't think we will, but... Okay, we're on AV. Plug that in. Uh, can you turn these on with the Wiimote? Let's try that. I got a Wiimote with it. It's this dirty little thing here. I mean, I'm assuming here that this is already synced up to it. It might not be, in which case I presume it has to be powered on to sync up. Well, that's not doing anything either. All right, so we've got a faulty Wiimote as well. That wasn't... Ah, there we go. Probably just needs cleaning. Right, power. No. And I guess there's no way of syncing this without it being on. Is there a sync button? Yes, there is a sync button. Well, let's try it. No. Okay. Interesting. Or is it? Alright, well, I'll clean that in a bit. You can stop flashing now. Thank you. Right, let's take this apart and let's see if we can figure out what's going on. I mean, my first impressions are maybe it's just the power button, but I don't know. Feels like it's clicking. Anyway, let's take it apart. How do you take it apart? It's a shiny new mini, not turning blue. Forgot to buy a game of test, stupid but true. There's no RGB output to who knew. The stupid composite looks rubbish. Boom. Anyway, big thanks to the big hitters. Moving on up like M people. It's titter. Better than the corn chips, it's Frito TV. Adam Audio Taylor, but you can call him left. Not Steve McQueen, better Anthony Dean. Dr. Princess Wizard, minty fresh, so clean. The great Lee Benz, no fuss. Letting as bring as the mighty Cooey Jingers. Oh my god. The Badger Squatch is here. Tim Owls Magdeburg, the pioneer. Massive thanks to the donkeys and HHGs. I feel so blessed. You're the best of bees near. Stephen Munch, Fox Cutter, fill in the void. Mechanics Ben Rush and Alice Margatroyd. Markovitz 19 in Flame Kangle Burr. Jonathan Wiggs, Lodger John Marr. Chris Jenkins, Kill Switch, second to none. Oz Newton, Infinity, Fridges, Karen Hansen. Oh no, bro, it's nearly time to go. All the way from Tokyo, it's the Monkey Joe. Peace. Right, well that was quite easy to get into. There's a couple of hidden screws under some rubber feet. And I don't know whether you had to take this battery thing out or not, but I did. Right, so the power button is... Oh, it's on this board here. Ah, that does not look right. I'm sure I heard something rattling around when I was taking... Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a drive. But that definitely doesn't look right. Let's zoom in. Yes, there's no actual button there. Ah, and that has just come off. I think someone's been pressing the power button with a bit too much enthusiasm. I wonder if that will work now. Let's find out. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, I presume I'll have to replace the button even if that does work. Right, so there's the red light. Let's push it in. Yeah, there we go. Blue light. So it is the button. But the button is destroyed. Where's the rest of the button? I mean, I presume I could probably just do some kind of a bodge with the power button, make that longer so it presses on that, but I think it would be better to replace the button if I can. Well, it would definitely be better because there's a bit missing from it. The rest of that button must be in here somewhere. I can't understand 
where it would be if it's not. Okay. Oh, that, that's off that. I don't, I don't understand where the rest of it is. Anyway, right, let's take this little board out. Unless it came out when I was taking it apart, I can't understand why there wouldn't be a piece of button in there. It didn't look like it had been opened before. But maybe it had, maybe someone's tried to fix this before, I don't know. Very, very confusing. Anyway, I'll stop going on about that now. Right, well that's what's left of it. And the rest of it looks alright. Now I'm just going to assume that someone was too heavy handed. Right, how are we going to get this off? Hot air is going to be easier, so I'm just going to use some aluminum. Aluminum. <laughs> aluminium uh, tape. Okay, and I'm just going to add some flux and then I'm going to whack it with hot air. I mean, I'm doing this and I haven't even looked if I've got a replacement. I probably haven't. I might have to order something. <laughs> right, because this is only a thin board, I'm going in at 400 degrees. Does that count as melted plastic? Because I, I, I don't really care about it. Does that count? Do I have to reset my counter? I suppose it is melted plastic, isn't it? Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Right, I've got a box of tactile switches, or tactile push button switches. I think the smallest one I'm gonna have is this one. 4.3 mil. I mean, it looks a bit fatter than the last one, and obviously it's a through hole thing. But I can bend, I can bend the legs out. Let's try it. Uh, well, I, I reckon I can get that on. Is that middle one? What does the middle one do? Why has it got five things on it? Does that matter? What does that middle one do? Right. Let's get our multimeter in continuity. So obviously these two are connected, and these two. So where does that go? Is it just the ground? I think that's going to be a ground. But what difference? Does it, what difference is that going to make? Do you know what? I don't know. I'm just going to put this one on and see if it works. If it doesn't, then I'll have to think of something else. Right, I'm going to need to cut these legs down a bit. So let's do that. I think we're good. Nice! Right, let's just see if the switch works. Fingers crossed it does. Uh, I don't have enough... I don't have enough hands. Well, it works that way. And that way. Right. I think the switch is working. I'm just worried about this middle one here. Uh, I don't know whether that is going to be important or not. I also don't know if it's going to be the right height. The only 
way we can find out is to put it back together. I'm not going to bother with the ribbon cables or anything yet. I just want to know if it clicks. And if it does, I'll put the whole thing back together just for suspense for the video. Because I'm stupid like that. Okay. Are you going to click? It does, but I think when I put the case back together, it's not going to. I think that's already pressing it down. It's a nice click as well. Yeah, but when I push the case together, it doesn't click. Damn. Um, so what can I do about that? That's the smallest one I've got. Uh, could I shave? Shave a bit off the top? Is that is that even doable? Should we try with some flush cutters? Is this going to completely ruin it? Oh, ah, do you know what? I think that worked. Let's see if that's any better. I think it's going to be the same problem. Damn. Oh, now, now something's rattling around inside. There it is. That's the rest of the, the original button. Ah, right. Uh, I don't know what to do because that button is too high. Let's try and remove a bit more of it. Take it back out. Do you know what? I'm going to get my, my angle grinder. It's not quite an angle grinder. I'm going to get my grinding pen on it and see if I can just wear down a bit of it. Definitely looks a bit better. We've still got a reassuring click. Let's try that now. Yes. I think we might have it. Let's put it back together. Well, actually, I need to connect the ribbon cable. No, no. Let's connect up the ribbon cable. And let's put it back together and we'll give it a test. How exciting. Right, here goes. There's the red light. Oh yes! It's blue, baby! <laughs> let's hook it up to the TV. Yes! Press A to... Oh, I have to sync these up now, don't I? Here we go. We've got a sync light. Oh, I need the sensor bar thing, don't I? Uh, Alright, sensor bar thing. Nice. Why? I don't want to. There we go. Nice! Um, I don't have any weed discs. So I can't test a game with it, which means it's stupid. Or I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid because I didn't buy a game for it. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. Stupid game, stupid we've got to buy a game, stupid me, stupid song, stupid outro, stupid everything I know.